I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Thursday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Uh, an interesting weather pattern over the next couple of days. High pressure, which has been to our east, will slide back over the state. Ordinarily, that would mean fewer showers, but not the case for us heading into the weekend. We're going to push a cold front into the northeast. That's going to introduce some more moisture. We'll also cool temperatures down a bit. Across the northeast, we may not make it out of the 70s throughout the weekend. A state Supreme Court ruling had mixed results for cop killer Michael Astorga today. The justices ruled that he is eligible for the death penalty. His attorney had argued the state's death penalty repeal in 2009 should also apply to Astorga, even though he committed his murder a few years before it went into effect. The Supreme Court is going to allow Astorga's lawyer to show new evidence in the sentencing phase of the trial to try to raise reasonable doubt again and convince the jury Astorga should get life, not death. The southern New Mexico family accused of helping to arm the Mexican drug cartels will not be getting out of jail. A federal judge today ordered Rick Reese, his wife Terry, and their sons Ryan and Remington locked up without bail. The Reeses have gun shops in Deming and Las Cruces. Federal agents say the family sold dozens of weapons, including assault rifles, to undercover agents and informants who were supposed to smuggle them across the border. Agents arrested all four of the Reeses in Las Cruces Tuesday after using a trick to lure them away from their heavily fortified survivalist compound near Deming. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10 o'clock.